Hello video editors. I am Sali Ali and welcome to Sali Tutorials. In this video I will share with you 7 amazing secrets, tips and tricks of Filmora. Knowing this will not only make it easier for you to edit the video, but will also save you a lot of time. Before that, if you are new here, please subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video sure to give a thumbs up. So let's get started. 1. Startup Window When you open Filmora, you will see a startup window like this. If you do not see this window, I will show you how to show this window at startup, when you launch Filmora. Go to File and click on File. After clicking the file, click Preferences. In front of this checkbox you can see that it says, Show this startup window when Wondershare Filmora launches. I want to show this startup window, so check this box. And click OK. Now I close Filmora. And then reopen Filmora and see if Filmora will have a startup window show. So you can see that we have a startup window show. If you do not want to see the startup window in Filmora startup, uncheck this box. 2. Quick way to delete effects. Today I am going to show you an easy way to delete effects in Filmora that you may not know or use this trick very little. And that we double click on the video. And then come down here. And then open the video effects tab. And delete the effects from here, which is a waste of time. Now learn the easy way to delete effects. Just right click on the video, and right here on the top side you can see the delete effect, click on it. Right. Very easy. 3. Safe Zone. This is the trick about Safe Zone. With the help of Safe Zone, you can place any footage on the display screen in the right place. To turn on Safe Zone, click the View tab. And click Show Safe Zone. This feature of Film More is great. By the way, it is not easy to place the video in the correct place, but it is possible through the safe zone. You can see that I put the video straight in different places. This way you can also turn on the safe zone for different purposes. 4. To hide the safe zone, click on the view tab again. And click show safe zone. Four, paste in the relevant track. In this trick we will try to explain to you how to copy and then paste in the relevant track. For example, I copy this video and then I want this video to be pasted into the second track. And I paste but this video is pasted in the third track. And the second video is not pasted into the second track as I wish. What do we do wrong here? Here we make the mistake of not selecting the track in which we want to paste video, image etc. When we click on the relevant track, your copied item will be pasted into that track. Hope you understand now. 5. Color Mark In Filmora you can apply color mark for any video clips, images, audio and titles. So over here you can see that I have a bunch of footage on my timeline. And now let's make it easier to select them out and work around with it with even more efficiency. So to do that, you can add in color marks to them. So to add in color marks simply right click on the footage you want to add in color mark to, and then over here you can see that. You can select around a specific color. I wanted to mark this green right here. You can see that it has been marked green. This way you can mark these clips the same or different colors. You can also color mark text titles and audio. 6. Clear all keyframes at once. In this trick I am going to show you an easy way to delete all keyframes at once in Filmora, that you may not know or use this trick very little. Once you've inserted all keyframes into the clip, but for some reason you want to delete all of those keyframes. So often we delete each keyframe like this. First we select the keyframe and then delete it. Which is a long way. So here's an easy way to delete all keyframes in one click. Just right click on the footage, after right clicking. You can see clear all keyframes here. Click on it. It's easy. 7. Timeline Snap You can see I have video clips here on the timeline. And if I were to click and drag, what happens is that, you can see that as AI move close to the edge of the clips, it actually snaps in place. To turn off the timeline snap, right click on the timeline. And at the bottom you can see, enable timeline snap, click on it. The timeline snap has turned off so if I were to click and drag this, now you can see that it does not snap in place. But if you want the timeline snap back again then you can simply right click, and click on enable timeline snap. 
Please comment and let us know which of these 7 amazing secrets, tricks and tips you liked the most. We will be very grateful to you. And thanks a lot for the friends who share their opinions with us. So if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, keep creating better video with Solid Tutorials. Bye.